Yeah, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Kale. So Frosty Flat was the movie. Flat was the movie. Two in the way. Gods of the City. God City TV. Gangs of the City. God City Web Series. God City Podcast. God City Anything, man. God damn. I'm thinking like, yo, what's yo? When they say that rap is the most dangerous job, doesn't matter if you're a new school cat or old school cat, it's still dangerous for you. You know what I'm saying? As you know, um, Frenchie BSM just basically came out about an hour ago. Took to Instagram, basically stating the fact that he was basically shot in the neck. And he just got out the hospital, it went through his neck, and came out his back. So he basically posted a video, which I have the video for you exactly at the one point mark, as I usually do. But just to show you, you know what I'm saying? The year just started, and we got YFN Lucci um, is on the run. Basically, he's wanted for murder. Then we got Frenchie BSM. That's one of the young guys got is on the run for murder. And then one of the older guys got shot in the neck, barely survived because it hit his neck, came out of his back. And he basically shows you. Like, check it out right now. Hospital got shot in my neck, as y'all can see. Just fucking got out. So what? She went in my neck. She's back. I'm out my back. I'm still alive, though. Sorry, right, niggas can't stop me. I'm still alive. Squad. As you can see, that was him basically explaining how the bullet went through his neck and came out through his back. You know what I'm saying? God was with that guy for that night, man. Anyway, speedy recovery to Frenchie, man. If you don't know who Frenchie is, basically used to run with Bridge Squad Movement. That was Gucci Mane's movement at the time. Basically, I think he's supposed to be related to Waka Flocka. They had a Queens to Atlanta connection going. That's how they was running the town when, when that hype of music was really taking over. Um, basically he had a few hits with Gucci and Waka too and a few others, but you know what I'm saying? He's one of the older guys. So like I'm going to tell him, like I tell the younger guys, basically you got to stay away from the bull crap, bro. I know a lot of the older dudes feel they've been around. So basically they, they know everybody and they could say, yo, I'm good in every hood. One, y'all should stop being worried about being good in every hood. Once y'all made a certain success level in life, stop worrying about being good in every hood. Be worried about being good in every business building. You know what I'm saying? Get your businesses on. You know what I'm saying? Bring these rappers out. Bring these singers out. Put some shows together. Put some ideas together. Stay away from the hood where people's going to want to kill you just because you were who you are. And then you probably turning around and then acting crazy and then... In the hood, for me being in the hood, people don't really like dudes that been that's been hot and then want to act like they still run the hood. That's like a you know, that's like something people be like, yo, dolls, you done made it. But anyway, like I said, and you don't want to be get caught lacking. I got caught lacking a few times, and most of the times when I got caught lacking, it was always based on me already knowing better. But I still was like, effort. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, if you could do better, if you knew better, you gonna do you gonna do better. So you should do better. Your older guys. So, makes an example for the younger dudes, you know what I'm saying? It's your boy, Kale So Frosty.